वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल सी द मेथड ऑफ कंट्रास्ट एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ एन इमेज इन मैट लैब वट इज वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कंट्रास्ट डिफरेंस इन कलर और लुमिनेंस इन एन इमेज इज कॉल्ड द कंट्रास्ट ऑफ द इमेज और how well objects in an image are distinguished low contrast and high contrast images this is an example of a low contrast image and this one is an example of high contrast image you can see in the image in the left the objects are not distinguishable or, or apples are not distinguishable as distinguishable as in the image in the right so all the edges are very clear in the in the right histogram of low contrast and high contrast images this is the histogram of a low contrast image you can see it is confined to a limited space for example its minimum its minimum value is closer to 30 and its maximum value is almost 1 130 while in the high contrast image the value the starting value of the histogram is near 5 and ending value is near 2 220 so in the high contrast image the histogram is stretched to the whole range of pixels while in low contrast image the histogram in uh, limited uh, in uh, limited in space first of all we shall find uh, to convert the low contrast image into high contrast image we shall first of all find the slope of the transformation slope is defined as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 this point is x1 which is 30 this is x2 or the minimum point in the low contrast image is x1 the maximum point in low maximum or maximum gray level in the low contrast images x2 while the minimum gray level in the output image or the high contrast image is y1 and the maximum gray level in high contrast image is y2 this is y2 so we can calculate the slope using y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 equation of image transformation first of all we will we will find the slope of the image as described in the previous slide m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 where y2 is the maximum gray level in the output image or the high contrast image y1 is the minimum gray level in the output image or the high contrast image where x2 is the maximum gray level in input image or the low contrast image x1 is the minimum gray level in the input image or low contrast image we will map the values for converting a low contrast image into a high contrast image we shall map the values values x1 on y1 
and will map the value x2 on y2 for example going back to previous slide we will stretch this point 30 and drag to 15 or 0 and we will stretch this point 130 and bring it to 250 or 220 how stretched how stretched the image is how much stretched the image is the more the more the image is stretched better will be its contrast for example if we bring this value to 0 bring this 30 to stretch and bring it to 0 and stretch the point uh, the gray level 130 and bring it to 250 the and histogram will be stretched using the equation of straight line the points in between 0 and 250 will be calculated using the equation of straight line y is equal to mx we will see this in the next slide y is equal to mx plus c so contrast stretching or improving the contrast of an image is all about stretching the histogram we will calculate the slope of the transformation using this method and then we will uh, calculate the in pixels in between y2 and y1 using the equation of straight line or you can say using linear interpolation putting x y 1 1 or x y x 1 y 1 or x 2 y 2 in the equation 2 we will get y 1 is equal to m x 1 plus c or y2 is equal to mx2 plus c you can calculate then you you can calculate the value of c using equation 3 y my y1 minus mx1 or c is equal to y2 minus minus mx2 so x1 y1 and x2 y2 are the known points using these known points and the slope we can calculate the value of c first we cal calculated the value of m then we will calculate the value of c using either of these two equations you can use the equation 3 or equation 4 to calculate the value of c and put this value of m and c in the equation 2 so x is the x is the pixel in the input image and y is the pixel value in the output image so uh, first uh, again repeating the same thing going back to previous slide we will stretch the histogram using the equation of straight line first of all we shall map the minimum point to minimum point in the input image or the low contrast image to the minimum point in the high contrast image for example in this case we will map 30 to 15 or x1 to y1 similarly the x2 is mapped to y2 and in this way we will calculate the histogram of the uh, in, in this way we will calculate the slope of the transformation after calculating the slope of the transformation we shall calculate the value of c and put it into equation 2 so we will calculate other pixels pixels other than uh, y1 and y2 sorry y1 and y2 are the known pixels using these known pixels we will calculate the value of c and uh, uh, all the points in between y1 and y2 are calculated 
using equation of straight line for example this is the point y at location ith row and jth column this will be equal to m into pixel in the input image or the low contrast image at the location ij plus the value of c we calculated previously so we will perform this in matlab so that you will better understand this process we will go to matlab and uh, create new script so this is the new script created first of all we will read the input image a input m read low contrast the name of the image is low contrast dot jpg then we shall convert this input image uh, into grayscale so a input is equal to all to gray a input then we shall calculate the we shall define a output a out is equal to zeros we shall initialize this matrix a out which will be the output image and uh, before this we shall calculate the size of the input image the size of input image can be calculated as rows comma columns is equal to size a input then we shall define the a out variable in which the output image will be stored so its size will be rows comma columns next we shall calculate the we shall calculate x1 is equal to minimum minimum of the a input this will give the minimum value of the a input matrix or the low contrast image so we used the min function twice because first min will calculate the calculate a row vector containing the maximum uh, sorry the minimum value in each column then next time we will apply the min function and it will calculate the total minimum of the entire matrix or the entire image so this will be the minimum gray level in the input image similarly we shall use max maximum will find maximum gray level in the input image next 
we the maximum gray level the minimum gray level in the output image would be zero so we will map the minimum of the input image to the minimum of output image so we selected the minimum of output image as y1 is equal to 0 and the maximum y2 is equal to 255 which which is the maximum possible value of a grayscale image this is the minimum possible value in the grayscale image this is the maximum value in the or uh, grayscale image so x1 will be mapped to y1 and y x2 will be mapped to y2 next we calculate the slope uh, we have to convert these into double because using because double converts the a number into a floating point number so x1 and x2 will be floating point numbers so we have to use the double convert conversion if we don't use the double conversion the the default data type will be unsigned integers uh, and it will when we shall calculate the slope uh, without using the double com double function uh, then it will round off the value of slope so so we don't want the rounded off value we want the exact exact value in points or the floating point number so first of all we shall calculate the value of m the slope is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 then we will calculate the value of c c is equal to c is equal to y1 minus mx1 or y2 minus mx2 we'll use y1 minus mx1 m into x1 next we shall calculate the values or the gray levels of the output image in between y1 and y2 or i is equal to 1 2 rows 4 j is equal to 1 to columns j is equal to 1 to columns so this will iterate, iterate through the matrix a new we use a out the pixel at the location i j of the output image is calculated using the equation of straight line y y is equal to m x plus c so y is the output image in which in this case which is a out and a input 
comma i j the pixel uh, the gray level at the pixel location i j of the input image or the low contrast image plus c and the inner loop and and the outer loop then we shall plot the two images figure 1 is equal to im show we will show the images using im show command im show a input figure 2 equal to a out so we shall run this program we will contrast contrast stretching contrast contrast we will give it the name contrast so sorry sorry there is some problem i think there is some problem in the code so let's recheck the code Everything is fine, I think. Where is the problem? Let's pause the video. I shall find. Yes, I found the problem. Uh, we have to convert this A out into U int because uh, images are also uh, because the images are always in the uh, in the form u int 8 so we will convert this a out into u int 8 images are always stored in this form in the unsigned integer form so we change the data type of output image which was previously which was double data type uh, and now we change it to uh, change it into unsigned integer so we will run the code yes you see this is the low contrast image and using this low contrast image we created the high contrast image now let's see the histogram of these two images so M hist we will show the histogram using m hist command 
so we will again run the code sorry m hist m hist sorry so this is the histogram of low contrast image this one in uh, the uh, histogram in the left and in the right is the histogram of high contrast image so you can see the uh, histogram you can see that histogram of high contrast images stretched out from 0 to 250 so that's all for today see you in the next video uh, please if you like the video please subscribe our channel and uh, press the bell icon to get the notifications